120. 119. 119. 120. Uh. Did I let it go? Sure. That was quick. All right. So the next thing we're going to work on is we're going to take and start prepping the framing for our actual climbing surfaces. So this is going to be the framing for the 15 degree wall. These are 10 foot two by fours. We're going to take the ends of them and we're going to make, and this is just a rough estimation. You know, we're going to cut off at a 15 degree angle, the piece on each end. And that way it will rest at 15 degrees angle angle. There is a great way to do that if you don't have a compass, but there is another way that you can do that and that is using math, using trigonometry. And so the trigonometry of a right angle, if you want to calculate the distance here of this right angle of this side here, all you have to do is know your angle here, which we know is going to be 15 degrees, and your length here, which we know in dimensional lumber is three and a half inches. So by taking trigonometry, we can take the length of this side and this known angle, and we can find this length here. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, so what we've done here is we've done the little triangle calculator math here with our 15 degree angle known here, 90 degree known angle here, and our known distance of three and a half inches here. And it gives us 0.938. So just shy of an inch. So 0.938, if I take an inch, but it's divided into sixteenths, so 16 times 0.938 equals 15 sixteenths. So it's going to be 15 sixteenths of an inch from here to here to equal that 15 degree angle. And then I'll repeat that on the same same thing on the other end of the board. Now, looking at our plans, I've done also some math here on the 15 degree wall for the length of the board that I need. So I know that I need nine feet, eight inches. So with our 15 degree angles, it's gonna end up being nine feet, eight inches from this point, but also nine feet, eight inches from this point. Nine feet, eight inches on the bottom and then we're going to add 9 feet 8 inches plus 15 sixteenths so here's 9 feet 8 and f add 15 sixteenths which is right here there we go that's our cuts so then what we'll do is we'll just cut the one board and that will be our template and once that's cut we'll just match that up on the remaining four boards and we'll cut those One. Are you gonna be in my YouTube videos? Ready, Gavin? Okay, two power sports. Off of here. Sit down. Thank you. Sitter. Are, you the, are you the board sitter? So now all five of those studs there are cut with 15 degree angles, and they're gonna be ready for attaching to uh, headers and footers. And then basically that whole wall will be framed and then we'll raise it up. We are going to finally be building one of our climbing walls. We're going to start with the 15 degree wall. Got the framing laid out there. Not quite to proportion. They're going to be two feet off centers. It's all framed up. So what I'm going to do now, since this is the top plate right here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pre-drill some of these anchor screws up through the bottom here so that they're ready to go. So that way as I'm pushing this up to there, they're just ready to finish off and screw in. So I'm just going to get them all prepped. So now we're 
raising this wall here as you can see and I have with my helper Micah. All right, so now that the tops are in, we're gonna screw the bottom in to the base plate. This didn't quite have a ceiling brace here, so I tied it back in with this extended piece here. So, just every little bit for additional stability. All right, so now that we got this 15 degree wall built here, wanted to see how accurate my measurements were. I anticipate it's not gonna probably be exactly 15 degrees. And it's probably not gonna be the same all the way across. So let's give this a little test and see how close we are to the anticipated or the projected 15 degree wall here. And I'm just gonna rest that on there. And looks like about 17 degrees, so. The actual application of this made it be about two degrees off. Okay, so here it's about 16 degrees off. So throughout this, throughout this, here's the middle middle point. So yeah, it's pretty pretty steady around 17, 17 to 16 degrees overhanging. And uh, again, I was shooting for 15 degrees, but didn't quite work out that way. Um, I could recheck my math, but I'm pretty sure my math is accurate. Just slightly more than 15 degrees is pretty good. I'll probably still call it the 15 degree wall. All right, so now we're gonna start working on the 25 degree wall. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm reusing some of the wood from my previous wall back in Minnesota. So this was used on a 45 degree wall. It's uh, more than enough length for me, so I'm gonna be able to reuse the studs from the 45 degree wall, but I only need 25 degrees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that measurement and redraw the line and recut this. And then same thing on the other end of the board with the correct distance. So we're going to jump back into our trigonometry, figure out what measurement I need for a 25 degree wall. So what I'm doing here is got my triangle calculator here and Got a right triangle, as you can see here, right triangle. And I know this length here of this part of the right triangle to be 3.5 inches. So, and I know that I want this angle here to be 25 degrees. So if I know those two things, I can calculate X. I bet you didn't think we were gonna do math here. So. I can calculate x if I know these two things. So all I'm going to do is put this together in my triangle calculator. I'm going to say that side B is the three and a half, and angle A is 25. As long as I know those things, I can calculate. So what that tells me that I know B and I know angle A, so I need side A, edge A is 1.63 inches, but what is 0.63 inches? Okay, so then we'll go back to our calculator here. Um, an inch has 16 small divisions, so we're gonna do 16 times 0.63 equals 10, approximately. So one and one inch and 10 sixteenths or five eighths one and five eighths inches so from here one and five eighths inches is what we need so one and five eighths is right there boom now take my straight edge here which has been my blueprint blueprints And that should be, this is going away. This angle right here should be 25 degrees. See how that works? So now we're gonna just repeat this on the rest of the boards and we're good to go.
So now I think I have all of the pieces of framing that I need for the 25 degree wall. So now it's just a matter of putting it all together. So that'll be the next thing you see. Also, I promised myself I would only use star bits, T25s, Torx bits, whatever you want to call them. I had my last build, I promised myself, and then I decided I was going to try and reuse a lot of stuff. I am using Phillips head, unfortunately, for quite a bit, a few of these screws. Not ideal, and if I were you, and if you have the choice, I would absolutely use star bits for everything. All right, so minus the blocking, that's going to go in between there. That is a completed wall, a completed frame for a 25 degree wall. And we are ready, once I get some human power, uh, second set of hands, we'll just lift up that end, I'm gonna rest it right on top of there. A nice lever action to go up and connect it up here. So I suppose in the meantime, I can prep my top plate with the screws like I did when I did the 15 degree wall, so. All right, so that's all ready to go. All I need is a human to help me. So what we're gonna do now while we're waiting for the raising of this wall here is I'm going to be doing the blocking. I know that the walls are going to be exactly eight feet wide. And because of the studs, you know, they might have some bowing to them or anything like that. Because of the studs, I know that I want it to be eight feet. I want to force it to be eight feet. Took 96 inches, which is eight feet. And then I subtracted the width of five two by fours. So that's seven and a half inches. And then that gives me the amount of space between there that I want. Now, all I have to do is make that equally divisible by four, because I have four spaces, I'm gonna be four, putting four blocks in there. And so that equals 22 inches and one eighth. 22 and an eighth inches times four. And then that'll work. I've done that also for this 25 degree wall as well, because I want it to be exactly eight feet. So then when I put them in there, they're going to force any bowing out of those studs. So that is exactly eight feet wide, which is exactly the width of my plywood for the actual climbing surface. First thing I'm going to do before I put this blocking in is I'm going to measure from where I want the bottom of the climbing surface up exactly four feet. And I'm gonna do that as my kind of center point. So that way I can make sure that that's where the plywood can attach to as well. So the blocking is actually gonna be in a, at a height that corresponds with where I want that piece of plywood to go. All right, so next step, I finally have some helpers. My son is gonna help me. He's gonna be a little holder as we get it set it and um, I'm just gonna screw it in up there. Uh, so we're at about right on 25. I'd say that's pretty accurate there, but I do believe it shifts here halfway through. We're about 26.3. This far side, 26.4. So 26 and a half from 25. Not too shabby. Kind of a theme of the day here is I forget to press record. But so what we just did here, I'll explain myself, is we just put up the crossbar the A-frame beam of the crossbar here. And so it conveniently comes right underneath the garage door opener and it's holding that up there. It's super solid. We were hanging on it earlier. Super solid. So I'm going to be doing another one of those over here. Actually probably two of them on this side. And you'll find out the reason why I'm doing two of them on this side 
in a little bit because I have a special surprise. All right, so this is that surprise I was telling you about. This is the Ninja Wall, the infamous Ninja Wall. It's been on all of my home wall iterations thus far, so I had to find a way to integrate it. And conveniently, this angle right here is pretty darn close to the 25 degree angle, so I'm actually gonna end up putting it up right up there. All right, it's up. So the A-frame itself is up. I think we're ready to start putting plywood on. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a piece of bracing just along this. That's gonna be for the right side of this to connect to. And then I'll do the left side custom once it's already up there. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Here's a little update where we're at. We've got our first holds up there. It's all 5280. We're in the Mile High City. So I thought that was appropriate, the first holds that go up. That is the infamous ninja wall. 